All right, hello everybody. My name is Peter. Today I'm just trying to use up some more of this little paint I have here. Maybe squish it around a little, see what we can get into. Some orange paint. I'm not sure what the color is called. And maybe a little bit of white. And I have no idea what this will do, but I have a syringe here with Gamsol in it which is a type of paint thinner. So I want to take this syringe and plunge it into the center of the paint and squirt some of it in there, which probably is doing absolutely nothing because the whole point of Gamsol is to kind of destroy the bonds between paint. Mm -hmm. See, it's soaked right into the paper. It's really a chemical you're supposed to use for doing uh, oil painting, I think. But uh, it seemed kind of interesting to me. I just wanted to see what would happen. And it didn't really... Th <laughs> I can't really tell if it really did anything. But it was kind of fun. Stick that little needle in there. I like the shade of orange when you mix the white with the orange and kind of makes a, a lighter shade there. Kind of a sunsetty effect there. I like these paints. What it does when you don't mix them together all the way, like this. I like that too. The palette knife does that. Has a cool effect like that. Just enjoying the way the paint squishes and mixes itself together as you move it around on the paper. This might make it kind of weird, but let's add a little bit of green here. Just a little, just a little, a little plop of it, and maybe a little bit more white. I like plenty of white paint. It's fun to mix into the other stuff. I'm not, I'm not sure what green and orange makes together. You know, these aren't these aren't like the, the primary colors whichever ones you're supposed to be mixing. I'm just not sure. Just kind of making stuff spike out from the center there. too caught up in what should or shouldn't be. It'll all be fine. I'm really I'm really undecided if what I did there at the beginning with the um, the Gamsol, the paint thinner, really accomplished anything at all. It might have changed the consistency of some of the paints. I think that's all it did, if anything. Really it wasn't intended for the this type of paint though. Hmm. Honestly, I really want to see it'll happen if I add a little bit of linseed oil. Another chemical you're supposed to use uh, with oil paints. I'm going to pull a little bit out with this syringe, just like that. I'm going to kind of put a drop th there right in the middle. 
Oh. It's not really doing anything, it's just kind of sitting on top. I'm going to do three drops. This might, this might totally ruin the painting. That's all right. But we're going to learn something about, about what linseed oil does when you put it on top of a painting, I suppose. I took a little oil painting class once just to learn what all these uh, little chemicals do. Sometimes you walk down the oil painting aisle in the art supply store and it can be a little bit intimidating. There's just so many bottles of strange things. And I think it's safe to say I've totally forgotten everything I learned in that class. Can you hear my neighbors upstairs? My little little footsteps. They're not too bad right now. I don't know if that linseed oil did anything. I didn't really do anything with it. It's fine. Anyways, I think that's all for today. I had some yellow that I was tempted to add, but I kind of like how it's looking just like this. Don't 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 go for too long, you know. It'll start looking worse really quick. Not that it's all about whether it looks good or not. Cuz I had a great time just making this. So, thanks for hanging out everybody. Goodbye.